Before we start the video, I have a shout out for transwag.com. Homeboy Cameron has the Transwag podcast on there. So thank you so much, Cameron, for supporting me on Patreon. Guys, go check that out. The link will be in the description. Girl, do I got boogers in my nose? You tell me the truth. Okay, I, I think that's enough. Hey guys, it's Ty. I got a new light. So now I can film inside because um, I couldn't do that before. My big lights that I used to film with were like huge studio softbox lights and um, I couldn't bring those with me on my travels, but I'm not traveling yet, so I still don't have them though. So I got this light, this little LED thing. That way I can film inside now so there aren't outside noises. But now there's just dog noises. Quit licking yourself. It's not that kind of video. What am I talking? Oh, hi, I'm sick. Um, my brain is gone. That's my sickness. It's, that's um, medically what they said the issue is, is that my brain is gone. What can you do? You're gonna have to go if you can't quit licking yourself, girl. Now you are went and laid straight on my nice shirt that I had laying out with your muddy ass paws. What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's go. Um, that did not mean get in my lap. <laughs> oh, you're so pretty. I gotta make a video. I'm sorry if this wasn't a convenient time for you. Let's go inside. Now the cat's in here. Yeah. Lily, let's go. Come on. Come here. Come here. Lily, come here. No. Do you see that right now? She, <laughs> she doesn't give a single fuck. Oh shit, guys, I'm trying. <laughs> so I've been sick for like a week now, and I was just completely in denial about it. Like I just pretended like it wasn't happening, and so I didn't take any measures to make it better. And what do you know, it's gotten worse. <laughs> it's, but hopefully it'll go away soon, like it's been a week, it's, it's time. Enough, we've had enough. So I wanted to get on here and make this video, because I can't do anything really elaborate with being this sick, but I just wanted to put a message of hope out into the world real quick today. I know a lot of guys that watch my channel are pre-TFTM guys who, you know, look at me and see the changes that I'm undergoing and whatnot with being on testosterone and sort of looking in their futures and like, you know, thinking, hey, I, you know, around this time I can start getting facial hair or whatever. So it's cool, you know, they, they look at me to see kind of what's gonna happen to them, and that's really chill. But I also know that it's kind of discouraging to see someone going through all these changes while you just have to sit around and wait. All right, Kat, you're going out too. Sorry. Anyways, this, I just wanted to make a video for pre-T trans guys. Just letting you guys know that I know that it's hard. I know that it's really fucking hard. Like, even though I've been on testosterone for three years, I remember what it's like before I started T and how it, it felt like my life hadn't started yet. Like I was just waiting to become myself, you know? I'm, of course you know. But I just really want you guys to know that for me personally, and I think for a lot of trans guys, that is the most difficult part of your transition. I know coming out is really scary, but once you get it done, you're over with. Wait. <laughs> I know I know coming out is really scary and you know depending on your family members and stuff that might be a really bad situation it might be a, a good situation but I don't know for me I think like mentally what took the biggest toll was just feeling like testosterone was so out of reach like it was this unattainable thing that I see all these other people getting, but there's so many hoops you have to jump through. And it just made it feel like even less of a possibility every time. You know, first I just felt like I was never gonna get on T. And that's all all I could think about all the time was just like, sorry, I need a tissue. Is that cute? That's not cute. No, I don't remember what I was saying, but <laughs> I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that it's gonna get a lot easier. And as soon as you start T, I mean, you're gonna feel so much better, even if it's just all in your head. Like, I felt like within the first week, I had already noticed a difference. And in the first month, I definitely did notice like a measurable difference. The wait might be long, but once you get there, you know, if you can just hold out, make yourself feel better, and know that there is hope and that you will get there someday, I mean, once you get there, it's gonna fly by. It's gonna happen so fast. You're not even gonna know where the time went. For example, I'm three years on T now, 
well, like almost three and a half years on T. But, um, shit, today's Sunday. <laughs> my shot day is Thursday. I had to do my shot today because I, I forget. And not to sound like an asshole, like I'm trying to brag or whatever, but it gets to a point where it's so natural for you, you don't even think about it anymore. Um, and I hope that you guys get to that point too, but that you're not stupid like me and don't forget your shot all the time. I know that I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but I just felt like I wanted to get on here and really put my thoughts out in one video for pre-T trans guys, just telling them, telling you to just hold out and hold on to your hope, you know, you you will get there. Like, it sucks right now. It fucking sucks, I know. Because you see other dudes and, and you see other trans guys even, and all you ever fucking do when you see any guys compare yourself to them, at least that's from how it was for me, maybe I'm just like insecure and shallow or whatever, but it's fuck, it's hard. And I know that it's hard, and I know that you're going through some shit, and I hope that you're doing okay. I really do. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.